God bless you, I am Prophet Willie Townsend, not the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m., and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call, and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available to take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me. Send me your testimony. Send me your prayer request letter. Write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. If you want today's lesson by DVD, VHS, or CD, get the tape number or the tape message that's appearing on your screen. Call the church. Give us the tape number or the message, and we'll rush the tape out to you as soon as possible. We do encourage you to check our website. All of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes, you can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. and every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. you can get our telecast. All right, now into the Word of God. In the book of St. Luke, the 8th chapter and the 2nd verse. There's St. Luke 8 and 2. And a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. Seven. She had demons in her and didn't even know it. She had the devil in her and didn't even know it. Spiritually speaking, she was in the church praising God, waving her hands, clapping her hands with the devil in her. Let me explain something to you here, honey. You got a lot of these people in these churches jumping and shouting, speaking in tongues, praising God, clapping their hands, waving their hands, singing in the choir, praying on the deacon board, preaching in the pulpit with the devil in them. They got the devil in them and doesn't know it. Our lesson this morning will be on our spirits real. Our spirits real. Yes, you can see how spirit was having this woman to live. These spirits had this woman, Mary Magdalene, prostituting, had her with all kind of sexual, sinful behavior. It was a spirit. Matter of fact, it was seven of them. That was controlling her life. Do you see what I'm talking about? These spirits was controlling this woman's life until she met Jesus and Jesus cast these spirits out of her. Our spirits real. You can tell spirits are real. Look how spirit is operating through people. Look at people's behavior. Look how they are living. If spirit is not real, then why are people living all kind of abomination lives? You see what I'm talking about? See, when you got spirits in you, these spirits is going to have you living against the 
word of God. These spirits going to have you going against the word of God, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Look at all the killing that these peoples are doing today. And you going to ask me, are spirits real? Look at all the killing. You see what I'm talking about? Who you think that driving these people to kill? They killing people that they don't even know. You see it? I see it. Everybody see it. Do you see what I'm talking about? What do you think that is? These are spirits that's taking over people's mind. These are spirits that's taking over people's personality. These are spirits that's taking over people's behavior. Do you see what I'm talking about? These are spirits in people's controlling what they do. Do you see what I'm talking about? You ask me, are spirits real? Look at your personality. Look how it changed. Who you think that changed your personality? Spirit does. Who you think that make, makes you angry? Spirits. Who you think that makes you go against the word of God? Spirits in you. Does. Look at people different mood swings. Uh-huh. Do anybody have reason why people have different mood swings? Well, the doctors may come up with something, but the bottom line, this is a spiritual thing. These are spirits, baby. You see what I'm talking about? Look at these people different mood swings. Look at their anger. Look at their prejudice. Spirits in them got them prejudice. Demons don't love every can. Only, he only get along with certain can. You see what I'm talking about? Look at the hate. Look at the people violence. Look what these peoples are doing. You can tell right there that spirit is real. If you are spiritual minded, you can see spirits operating through people. You can see spirits controlling people live right out there in the streets. You can see spirits controlling people live right in your own home. Do you see what I'm talking about? If you are spiritual minded, you can see spirits driving people to do what they are doing. Here's the question. Our spirit is real. Yes. You can see the kind of lies that people are living that spirits is real. If you see me homongering with another woman, you know that it's a spirit got me doing it. 
you know that that's not normal, baby, because I'm a married man. If you see that I am a man and I'm with another man, you know that's a spirit. You, you know that that's not nothing normal that I would do. You see what I'm talking about? God put Adam and Eve together. Both of them had two different sexes. Not the same sex. It's spirits in peoples that drive them to go against the creation of God. It's spirits in people that drive them to go against the way that God made man and woman. Do you see what I'm talking about? Our spirits are real. Look at these people's lives. They don't care who they married or go to bed with. You see what I'm talking about? They are driven by spirits to do what they are doing. Not only that, but look at the habits of drugs. And alcohol that people are bound with. You got some people in a bad fix. They got thousands and thousands of dollars a day habit. They are some people have lost their home, their car, their bank account over drugs, over gambling because spirit drove them out of control. And you going to ask me, are spirits real? If spirits is not real, baby, then who, who is that that got your husband gambling up his car note, gambling up his mortgage note, gambling up his check? How did you lose your house? Talk to me. Why are you staying broke? Spirits get into people and drive them out of control to where they cannot control their drug habit, to where they cannot control their gambling habits, baby. You ask me, our spirits real well that's what destroying people lives today spirits that's what have ended many people's up in jail spirits that's what ended many people's up in prison behind bar spirits And if you ask any of them behind bars, why did they do what they did? They wouldn't have no answer. They'll put it on, well, I got angry. Yeah, but who made you angry? Who told you to pull the trigger? Who told you to rob that woman? Let me tell you what spirit does, baby. Number one, spirit talks to the man. Tells you what to do. After the spirit talks to the man, spirit influences you. It drives you. Drives you out of control. The police, the judge. The law is not going to look at spirit made you do it. They're going to look at it, you did it. That's it. You serve 18 years in jail. They can't lock up the devil, but you, they can lock up. There's nowhere in the world I ever saw the law lock up spirits. But I 
so the Lord lock you up. Lock up people's baby, but not spirits, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? Prophet, why is it they don't lock up spirit? Because men don't see spirit. Men only see the body, the person that did the crime. But we that are saved, the spiritual minded, baby, we know whatever behavior that this person did, it was a spirit behind that person that caused him to do it. Spirits in people is what bringing them down. You see what I'm talking about? Once you get a demon in you, once you get a spirit in you, those spirits going to bring you down. You see what I'm talking about? Then the Bible said righteousness exalt a nation. But sin is a destruction to any city. That's what the word said. Spirits and peoples is what bringing them down. Prophet, I don't know what happened to my husband. He used to not drink like this. He used to not, uh, he used to not be on these type of drugs. Seems like he doesn't care anymore. Seems like he don't care about nothing no more. It's because he got spirits in him that have brought him down in life. Let me tell you what the problem is. Your son, your child, your husband, whoever got these spirits in them need help. You can't get them help from the politician churches. You got to bring them where the spirit of God is at, baby. You cannot get them spiritual help from these religious churches, baby. You got to bring them to the body of Christ. That's what I'm talking about. Do you see what I'm talking about? Spirits is real. You know they real. At time, you saw spirits operating through you. Am I right? You saw spirits change your personality. Well, that show you right there the spirits is real because they change you. If spirits is not real, well, what was that that changed your personality then? That's what I'm talking about. Spirits is not real. What was that that had you to do what you did that you knew was against the word of God? Did you knew what you did was wrong? Yeah, you knew it. But you were driven out of control. And because that there were spirits in you that took over you. Do you see what I'm talking about? Hey Amen. You saw spirits operate through you to be disobedient. How can you say spirits is not real? Well, who got you rebellious? Who got you disobedient to the word of God? Who was that that had Ananias and Sapphire to lie to the men of God, to lie to Peter? Who was that that had Ananias and Sapphire to lie to the Holy Ghost? Who it was? Spirits. Who was that that said, give us re re Barabbas? And crucify Christ. 
who was that that after Jesus was born they kept the all the male child to get to Christ who was that a man that when Moses was born they told the midwife to kill all the male childs of Egypt. I mean of Israel. Spirits. Some of them same spirits that was operating through Pharaoh. Some of these same spirits that was operating through Mary Magdalene. Some of these same spirits that was operating through the Pharisees is operating through a lot of people today. Some of these same spirits that was operating through the Pharisees is operating through a lot of these church people today. Look how, look how many of them is religious but not saved. Look at how many of them today that's against holy teaching, baby. Look at how many, so many today that's against the truth. You could see the same spirits that was operating through the Pharisees to hate Christ. It's the same spirit in these churches operating for people to hate the truth. And these spirits that's operating through men of these church peoples to hate the truth, to hate a man of God that's preaching the truth, is some of the same ones that saying they're going to heaven. Some of the same ones that pray to God every day. Didn't the Pharisees pray to God always? But they had a spirit in them that was against Christ, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But they prayed to God always, right? Didn't the Pharisees honor God with their lips? Praise them with their mouth, but their heart was far from God? But yet they said that God is our Father. We've never been in abundance to no man. Do you see what I'm talking about? Many of us, we're a client ourselves. Many of us, we have witnessed other spirits taking us over. Taking over our mind. Taking over our personality. Driving us to do things against the will of God. Some of us even saw spirits operating through us to commit sexual sin. You knew you weren't married. You see what I'm talking about? I put a ring on my on my girlfriend finger when I was when, when she was 18. And the ring is still on there. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. You told me, baby, I loved it, her. You told me, if you like it, put a ring on it, I did. I liked it, her, baby. I loved it, her. I put a ring on it. <laughs> Do you see what I'm talking about? I liked it uh, so much, I kept the ring on. Many of us, we saw spirits operate through us with anger and violence. Spirits are real. You can see the works of these spirits every day. Some of us, we saw the works of these spirits through our own children. Through other people. 
This let us know that spirits are real. These spirits that's in the world today have pulled many Christians from God. These spirits as if the world today have ended many peoples in hell. These spirits today have put many people behind bars. Do you see what I'm talking about? You can see right there that spirits is real. All right, God bless you. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue J in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. and our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lands are now open. We have live prayer warriors available to take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, we encourage you to check our website, all of our Wednesday and Friday night Bible classes. You can get them live by going to our website every Wednesday and Friday at 9 o'clock p.m. and our telecast every Sunday by going to our website at 2 o'clock p.m. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.